Hey, welcome back everybody, POA. When I'm thinking about awesome boxes to open, Mystery Box Retail Edition is still kind of spectacular. And if you're really trying to fill in your collection with lots of randoms to build decks with, I can't think of a better product. I really can't. So I'm going to open up one of these for me. And I want to see what awesome uncommons and commons I pull out of this. And hopefully we do well in the rares and mythics. It's really kind of where I'm at with this product. When there are a ton of uncommons that are like 5 to, what, $15? Is that where we're at with this? It's kind of crazy. So, let's see how we do. Huh? Um, obviously, due to the sheer size of the set, you know... I, I have a hard time going into one of these and being like, I might pull a Mana Crypt, or I might pull a Ristic Study. You know, Ristic Study is just one of like a thousand plus commons inside this set. So, let's uh, kind of go through this. You know what, I'm going to do a small adjustment on the old camera here. Give me a second. There we go. All right. I like that. There we go. Okay. So I am going to go through commons, which is something I usually don't do, and that's because of this specific set. Baldovian Horde, that's a classic that's not worth playing these days. Creeping Mold. You know what, am I going to separate out commons and uncommons? This might take forever. I always do this, don't I? I do. <clears throat> Creeping Mold, because then you get random commons again. Croesus's Charm, huh? Okay. Blighted Fen Battle. Athreos for our first mythic, the God of Passage. Oh, and our second mythic, Al Hammerhats Archive. That's cool. And then a Knot of This World from, uh, is that World Awake? So an Eldrazi Instant, huh? I don't think that's one of the good pulls in terms of the retail edition cards, but we'll still track those over here. <clears throat> well, two mythic pack. I don't know if that means that I'm about to go a long time without getting mythics or we're going to get like all the mythics. I never know. Sage of Latinam, huh? That's cool. Playing Tongue Kabu, classic. Not a, not a good pull, but you know, classic. Winding Constrictor. Artisan of Kozilek, that's cool. Then we got Doomgape. You are a big expensive creature. And you have to sacrifice. Oh, okay, so you have to sacrifice, but you get something out of it. Mizzix Mastery, that's cool. I dig that. And Sarkon, otherwise known as Rael. Some of you are not familiar with that joke. Um, okay, Sarkon. So, I, I know it's a mythic, but you know what? Fine, we'll put it with the mythics. All right, cards like Mizzix's Mastery. It's just it's so off the wall on this product. Just it, it's, it's so random. It's so fun. Okay, here we go. Pollen Bright Wings. I remember that card. Oops, come on. Stack up. Sorry. I'm struggling over here. All right. Renegade map. Lotus Petal. I have not... By the way, this is just an expensive treasure token, isn't it? <laughs> I, I know. It's a card you can actually put in a deck. But still. Lotus Petal. Oh, that is... Oh, Krenko. Cool. Got good old Krenko. And a Codex Shredder. Now, that one is kind of disappointing. Only because it's been printed a ton. Oh well. Lotus Petal. That's fun. Actually, I don't think that is the crank. No. I think there's two Krenkos in this product. Ah, don't worry about me. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, Lightning Bolt. You know, I'm going to create another area for awesome and common pulls that I'm aware of. If I miss one, I apologize. There are just too many cards in this particular product. Gleaner, Contagion Clasp. That one's not bad. 
The Prey Caesar Dragon. Eh? Off one of the plane chases. And Mind Slaver. That's not bad. Whoop. Well, that's why we can't have nice things, folks. Really, I, I'm, you know, cards like Farseek would be cool if those pop up. I don't really know specifically what I'm after. Just neat playables. Curse of Opulence would be neat. I doubt I'll get that, but... Merfolk Luda. Shriek Maw. Innocent Blood. Shatter. Mist Meadow Witch. Another gate. Impending Disaster from Urza's uh, Legacy, I think. Can't remember. Mirren of Clan Neltoth. Okay, not the mythic I am looking for, but not bad. And Mind Funeral. I feel like I've opened this exact box before in terms of the mythics. Were these heavy track printed? I mean, I feel like that's really hard to do with that many cards. Infest. Hey, Night's nice Whisper. Ooh. Didn't even know that was in this set. Of course it is. <laughs> is it part of a Master's product? It's probably in here. Okay, Disintegration. Call the Scions. Is that a random common? Okay. Dominius... Diminus of Filthy. Yeah, okay. Goblin Charbelcher. Always fun. And the Bramblewood Paragon. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to move over Krenko. Okay, let's see what else here we can find. Gird it! Actually, did I just pass up like all the uncommons? Or were these all commons? Nope, all commons. Armadillo Cloak. Whisper Silk Cloak, so it's a cloak pack. Sapphire Charm, that is a classic. Can't remember if that's a common or uncommon. Pretty sure it's a common. Night Howler, huh? Enchantment Creature Horror. So it bestows. Interesting card. Interesting. And a Changeling Hero. So a Shapeshifter Hero with Lifelink. Hold on, just kind of lining stuff up so I don't get a mess in my hands as we go through this. Here we go. Alright, next pack. Next pack. Silver Gill Adept. And Mechanist Mnemonic Vigor. Palaka Worm. Okay. Burnished Heart. The Elixir of Immortality. The Ark, or the Arch, whatever, and Fate Spinner. I kind of vaguely remember you. I really like that foil job on there. Alright, we're done with the first eight packs. Let's see what else we can get in the next eight. Predict. Jungle Barrier, come on. Oh, Harold's Horn. You know what? You are at a level that you're going to go on top. Oh, Wargate. <laughs> nice pack. And a Grave Titan. This is a good pack. Sheesh. That's a Mythic, right? Yeah. And then a Wall of Shards. Wall of Shards from Cold Snap. Product. So wild. Hope they do it again at some point. Alright, let's see here. We got Seraph of the Sun. Sir Eleonora. Oops. Seraph of the Sun is an uncommon. P 
Peel from Reality. Tetris Terrain. Goblin Game from Plane Shift. Mind Shatter. Hey, Rintail. Kitsune Ascendant. I think that thing's a few bucks. Sea Lock Monster. The Blightning. Bottle Gnomes. Always, always fun. Grasp of Fate, huh? I feel like that's not bad. But, oh, hey! Minamo! That's a, that's a fantastic hit right there. All right. Now I'm going to put that at the bottom over here. And new rope. Jubilant mascot. Hey, Laboratory Mania. Of course that's in here too. Berserker Roast. Mantis. Darksteel Citadel. Greater Gargadon. Not the card I am looking for. Mind Spring. And Hornet Sting. Alright, we definitely uh, we slowed up on the Mythic front, that's for sure. Figured that might happen. Animate dead. Wow. Okay. The crowd goes wild. Raging sword tooth. That's kind of cool. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good card. Kind of expensive, but Yabamaya's embrace. Not what I'm looking for. Bestless collar. Lapse of Certainty, huh? Here we go. Battle Mastery. Charted Course. Price of Progress, huh? Zealot, Bonesaw, Rith the Awakener. Kind of classic. Deadly Tempest, what are you? That sounds potentially brutal. Okay. And a Celestial Karen. And some of those some of those rares, I don't really know if they're hits. So I'll kind of find out afterwards. Some cool cards though. That's what I'm after here. Hey, snap! That's like a five dollar common. Jeez. Mark Mutiny. Ice Spring Druid. Johnny Crowth. Hedge Mage. Ghost Quarter. That's cool. Bear Cub. Goblin Pile Driver. I remember you. And the Pyretic Ritual. Use a card, add one extra mana. Frantic Search. Ooh. Thought Erasure. Jungle Hollow, Eater of Days. Oh. Misdirection, that's interesting. Okay. And Iron Mirror. Oh, Thrumming Bird. That card 
that card is really gonna is sinking well with more recent releases. Fireball. Okay. Ooh, Zendikar's Royal. The Juggernaut. Phyrexian Soul Gorger. That's a rare, right? Pretty sure it is. Marion Crusader. And the Herald of Lezrak. Okay, what do I got left here? So I got seven packs left here. We've gone uh, really cold with the Mythics. So hopefully these last seven bring a couple more to the party. Oops. That is an uncommon. Okay. Great Furnace. Ooh, nice common. Oh, Asceticism. Sweet. Sweet. That's the kind of card I like to pull. Oh, Ga Gravecrawler. Back-to-back -back awesome pulls. And then a Recce. Oh, man. We just jump right back into a good pack. No Mythics, but <laughs> if you're going to give me rares like that, I don't care. Arcane Denial. Belligerent Brontodon. Okay. Brimstone Dragon. I assume that's not a rare, but it might be. Just because back then, that would have been a rare. Angel of the Dire Hours. Hour. Singular. Exile all attacking creatures, huh? That's fun. And Puka's Mischief. Okay, five packs. Okay, come on. One more Mythic. One more Mythic. Okay. Caption. Felidar Guardian. That's cool. Circular Logic. Dismember, oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Lightning Helix, classic. Pyramid, Dungrove Elder, Precursor Golem, and the classic Triskelion. Okay. Seriously, these uncommon pools are legit. Impact Tremors, that's a good one. Overgrown Battlement. Soul Manipulation. The Sigil of Valor. Sigil, whatever. Crag and Wick Cremator, not what I want to see. Tafiri, Temporal Arch, Archmage. Uh, I don't think that's a huge hit, but it is a Mythic, so there's that. And one with nothing. And we are on to the last few packs. Well, we're definitely in that lots of playable thing that I was after. No question there. Sarah's Embrace. Cast out. Cards. Sarkons. Elves of the Deep Shadow. Nice common. Hypnotic Spectre. Talrond. Ugh. And then our second Iron Mirror. Oof. Rough pack there. So we got Vengeful Rebirth. Okay. Reese the Redeemed. All right, not bad. Oh, there's another Mythic and one I'll be uh, glad to take. Temporal Mastery. And Shizos, Death Storehouse. Ah, <laughs> got both of them. Got both of the uh, OG Kami lands that are on the retail exclusive foil list thing. 
All right, last pack. Obviously, it took a little time with this video. Um, so this is a really interesting product. And the randomness is crazy. Blade Wing. Thron Dynamo for yet another. Release the ants and a coat of arms just to finish us up strong. And then another codex shredder, which is fine, whatever. All right. So that is another mystery box. I will, I'm happy to take this one actually. This stack right here is silly. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm sure it's going to be posted way after. But as of currently, we're on our road to 5,000 subscribers, which is still nuts. So I appreciate everybody. Till the next video, have a good day.